Hi guys, welcome back. So we're gonna finish uh, Broken Age part five today and we just got our second quest from the wolf person thing. Um, I think it's just another part of this weird, creepy simulation. So when he was up in his bed, that was when he was a child and then maybe they set it up so that when he gets older and he's able to emotionally maybe possibly physically handle more things and have more responsibilities uh he can handle harder tasks because the wolf said at first i was like oh this is great there's another person on the ship and we're finally out of that creepy scenario but then he said in danger system i think it was five Danger System 5, that's, that can't possibly be a thing. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Who knows, this game is a little weird. Uh, we dealt with Mob Trother and now we're dealing with creepy puppet things. So if it's not one thing, it's the other. Uh, I don't know, make a comment, see which one you like first, uh, most so far. The first one or the one that we're playing now. Um, I don't really know. I kind of like the Mog Trotter storyline. This one's interesting too. I don't know. Um, but I hope everyone's having a good day. It was raining all day here. Didn't make much of a difference for me since I was inside all day at work. So I think if I remember correctly, we had to... He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Yeah. Um... I think we have to go back to the Weaver. Let's see. But I'm curious. He's to got see what security happens. cameras oh. everywhere. Let's Only for that. your protection. Yeah. Can we go out the door? What happens if we? The door is locked. This is a stealth mission. Not safe to use the hallways. Understand? Yeah. If you notice, the arms look a little weird. As to the legs, there's that little fur line around the neck. Also, the head's really tall. This is definitely massive. This looks like this looks like cardboard. Not really stealthy. Cardboard. And this is the weaver, and he's actually weaving. I don't know. Can we go? Oh, let's go out this door. Negative. This door is locked. Should have known better. Hey, Space Weaver. Can't say we didn't try. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart and the fabric of time. God, look at these toys. These toys are just, they're so creepy. Don't see anything there I want to eat. I like this game, I do, but what's really annoying is the controls. You automatically start by holding the first item in your slot. So, kind of annoying. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three, two, one. Another safe voyage brought to you by the navigation department. Hmm. Okay. That looks pretty though. Little asteroids and the red and the shiny stars. Shiny shinies. Let's moon up. Ugh. I wanna watch that show again, I miss it. Make a shout out if you know what I just referenced. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. <laughs> Another mini game? Yeah. Oh god, oh god. What do we have to do? 
Careful, push the green button, right? Oh gosh, oh gosh, Careful. oh gosh. Wait for it. Excellent. Secure like I'm catching Pokemon. Cargo hold. Don't worry, she won't detect our moving the ship. I've covered our tracks very well. Don't wait forever, though. A blubber. No. Go over this Don't way. worry. She won't detect our moving the ship. Oh, no. I've covered our tracks eh. very well. Yeah, you. Just push the button. Boom. You look cute. Great work. Oh, I can pick up more. Sweet. Don't worry. She won't detect our moving the ship. I've oh, covered damn. our tracks very well. Here we go. You look Good. weird. But hurry, we're running out of time. Oh, your head is missing. Yeah, I'll get you. Oh, I got you! Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. <sighs> I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Yes. Just give me a second. Ooh. This is a waste of time. Is it though? There is no need for this. Rats. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. Oh, we need to retreat before... Attention! Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Cut sass. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom on controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Uh oh Creepy computer. Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. Does um, anyone ever something for that? Attack the ship, but mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> Oh, so brave. So brave. He's sleeping. What did he do? I don't know. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. But you don't have a thing. Where's the dad? I've tried throwing a towel over that thing, but she always pulls it off. Oh, here he is. Why is he down there? That's that's weird. Ship under attack. Everything's fine. Well, like, you're half right. That's like the meme where in the background there's fire and it's like, how's everything going? It's, it's fine. It's fine. I think there's there's definitely a Dragon Age one with Hawk from DA2. And there's one with Iron Man, I think from Iron Man 3, or everything's on fire in the background, I think. Creepy creatures. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. What? 
How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the overmother. I like that. The overmother. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The Thank shields you. require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn Headphones. off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver and hope for the best. Mm. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. What? Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So I'll take it off. So that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. So have you heard of a Mog Chothra? Maybe we can go to that doom system and help those people? Maybe? Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. Your eyes are shifty. I don't like it. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. All right, I don't know where we're supposed to go, so... That works. Oh no. Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. Ooh, story. A story of another person your age, a young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. How does she Please. know? I've heard the story of the sacrifice girl a million times. I know the ending. The sacrifice girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. <gasps> Was there a fight with the Mogs and that guy's ship that he came down on to the one that sends the light, the dead I got? Um, what if um somehow she has a kid our main character um and they use the ship and well she has a son and the mogs attack and is he, could he is it possible that he's the last of the, of the human race from that earth possibly I don't, I don't know, that's, that's interesting, now I want to find out. Yes, my love? Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war, and that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions, would you like that? Never mind. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, 
You know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home, Laruna, was dying, so we set sail in the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. So this is the ship that we saw before, but... It's not... Now, this has to be the future. Unless... I don't know. My brain hurts just trying to figure out a theory because there are just so many theories. I can sit here and theorize all day. I'm going to stop myself. Focus. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place and it has to be perfect for my baby. You're not going to find perfect. Computer, we need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why not have some fun and a smile Too true. instead? Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could knit you some new friends. So, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? Well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. So what does dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. Don't patronize me. All right, um, all of these look really weird. Okay, so this is, over here, that's clearly the weaver. Um, door number one is the sun happy place. I don't know. Door number th three is to L Loki. Door number four is to G Jordenheim. Oh, okay. Um, on that note, I'm gonna get going. Um, now I want to watch Thor. I'm like. Oh, one of the people bouncing outside. Oh, there's the dad. So, oh, ADD. Sorry. Um, all right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit short compared to the last one, um, but then again, the last one was pretty long compared to the others. So, what are you gonna do? All right. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, I'm back. So, I didn't realize how short the first clip was. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I had to go to the gym. I had Zumba, and I really don't like to miss my Zumba class. So, went to Zumba class, came back, uh, showered, so that's why my hair is pulled back. but still wet, and we're going to get started. So, let me just refresh my memory. So, we have Mesfelheim, Asgard. Lokiville, or Anaheim, is that where the elves live? Oh, Midgard, it's green. Midgard and Jotunheim. So, we don't want to go to Mesfelheim. Go to Asgard now, nah, Odin's there, Odin's a jerk. Let's go to, why not, Loki might be here. Oh, hello. Okay, uh, let's go to Jordanheim. Maybe we'll see Loki. Who knows? Ice cream makes sense because, you know, Frosty. I'm gonna refrain. Yeah. Buttons? Ooh, shiny. Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. I thought it was gonna be cooler than that. 
Ugh, weirds me out. Does this open up? I'm afraid. Is that the hug room? Let's find out. Curiosity killed the cat. Ice cream avalanche. Yep. <laughs> They're just playing cards. Let's go talk to them now. <gasps> Sandwich! Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the avalanche mission protocol. Hey! We're supposed to be on break! Nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much. You know, just chilling. <laughs> He's been waiting for you to ask back for a long time. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what we can do with this. It's a whipped cream gum. And it's mine. Chill out, Elijah Wood. Is it your precious? Oh, that took me too long to come up with that. Oh, I gotta get better at those. I'm a little mad at myself. So dramatic. Fake controls. What a surprise. I know we clicked that. I was hoping it would come up with something More different. More fake controls. Well, maybe he'll give us something different. Hey, missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. It's not an act! I think I pulled a muscle in that last attack! Muscle? My back is killing me! Well, you actually have something in it. Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. Ah! Ah! Yes! That feels amazing! You're welcome. They're creepy. Well, I gotta go. See ya! Hey, you're creepy. What did we get? What is... Something for knitting, the knitting needle. The music got creepy all of a sudden, I don't like it. Through the door? Okay. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship, and the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Huh. You crawl into something once when you're two years old and they lock it forever. Come get. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't even think it. What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. Life! Your passengers are still in grief counseling. Please leave before they see you. Can't I ride the train again? Banned for life. <laughs> Can't do. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Right? I mean, we did make the train crash. So, why are you sleeping? Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Yeah, hold on. This. This is warning. Airlock ahead. Warning. Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extra vehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you, sweetie pie. Ugh. 
This game is a little weird, especially this section. I don't know why. There's just something about the babying that the computer does that seems to bother me a little bit. Up? Wait, we can go up? Go up last time? Aww. Could we do that last time? Here we time? go! Man! Are we gonna cut ourselves loose? Me thinks maybe. Oh, Encumberment. Open up. But this time, take it easy. Oh no, don't do it. Don't wake anger the creature from the upside down. This is wrong. You guys heard that, right? And there was something over in this area. Hmm. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Sure. Got nowhere else to go. <gasps> no malfunction, no malfunction, no malfunction. Hey, my, my head. What's wrong? My head is smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. Duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me, big baby. Huh? Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion ore containment facility. Okay. Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes? You mean the junk room? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the best part of my day. Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> you went through two teleporters with our return trip, didn't you? I wonder what happened. You're playing with fire, kid. Oh, I'm gonna keep doing it. I want to see what happens. Oh, it's like I was tiny. Jars. My old teeth? Hair? The voice. I love it. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. Uh, what? Ooh, wait, there's a Duma Bobber there. Where are we going? Secrets ahead. Is this where the wolf lives? Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. What are these? The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. You mean the Digimon? Digimon, digital monsters. I missed that show. That was good. It was a good show. Or Tamagotchi, they look like a little bit. I was. Oh. Heh <laughs> heh. Hi. Go through him. How can we how can we do this? Let's make it smaller. Let's go. Let's go this way. Go back through. I don't want to go back up. If we go here, then here into Mistfulheim. Here to the Bifrost. Uh, and 
we started in Jordanheim, right? Let's go this way. I think if I go back through it, it'll help my head. So let's go this way. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's... Uh... Teleport. I need activate. this one. This way to the fusion or yeah. facility. Okay. And what's this one? Let's just double check. Teleporter, activate. Where the starboard passageway, sir. Teleporter active. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Fusion or containment yes. facility. Yes, please. There ain't no time. Bear me up, Scotty. I think that's all my head can take. You need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. Nope. In a minute. Nope. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Ooh, cool. Thank oh. you. Goodbye. We don't have a helmet. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. Is this... A little snug, but I think it will work. Not sure how long I can stand the spoiled milk smell, though. Oh, so is that what we had to go through to make our head smaller? Oh, I did what I was supposed to make. I thought I was gonna break the game. I'm not that good to break games. That fusion orb powers the ship's shields, which is critical because we get attacked by enemy spaceships constantly. You say fusion orb? You know what I'm gonna say. That fusion orb powers the ship's shields. Which is critical do. because we get attacked by enemy a lot of Thor references. That fusion orb powers you know the ship's shields. Which is critical because we get attacked by enemy Make spaceships constantly. Make a comment if you think you know what I'm gonna say. How are we still- Oh! That's where- We're not supposed to take it. See, this is what I mean. Like, why? Let's see how that would make this helmet bigger. Yeah, no, my head. This. Easy does it. There. Fusion orb inhibited. Not quite. We won't activate the Omicron inhibitor. You mean until we're ready to the other shields thing. down? And when will we be ready? Just as soon as you get control of those boom arms and navigate this ship to Prima Doom. Check. By the way, it was a Tesseract. Hope you got it. Should I take the helmet off? Um... Stay on alert. I think there might be food. Hmm, maybe I could scoop out the pa- Hey! My head is the perfect size for this helmet now. Man, how tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? <sighs> no malfunction, no malfunction, no malfunction. Ow, 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 ow! Ow! Oh! Head normalization expedited. You're welcome. I hate quantum physics. Oh no. It turns out that whole head tricking thing was just faulty wiring. I was gonna say, I won't think so. Then that head would have popped right off. <laughs> so again, you're welcome. Can I really give us no option though? Alright, so last one. Last door. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Obviously. <laughs> These trains on the ship are so weird, I don't like it. 
We were just here. I'm supposed to crawl through something to get to somewhere. Um. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um. think oh food maybe we have to go through so food okay why not our bedroom we don't need to be in here there was that weird uh, shiny thing in the corner a weird hey, shiny thing, not a good shiny thing. Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Huh? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. It's not dangerous. It's a knife. The fact that you think it's that dangerous is a little creepy. These are just props. She would never let me do my own cooking. Too dangerous. The fact that it's just also babyish and he's so old, I think that's what's bothering me. I don't know where we're supposed to go. I went through and I went in here, right? I did. I know we were supposed to go through a vent. I don't. Oh, no. The ink. Oh. oh. Oh, damn. Maybe. If I give the space weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. If I give the space weaver a star chart, He'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Yes, fantastic. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Um, I'm gonna talk to the wolf and then I might end from here. Hi. Merrick. The manual boom controls are beyond the reach of my air tether. They're going to need to extend your range somehow. Really? Fascinating. I've installed the fusion orb inhibitor. Great. Now when we push this button, the ship's shields will come down. But we won't do that until after we get control of those boom arms and navigate to Prima Doom. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Maybe the knife or this. gonna be one of these things eventually we're gonna need this we might have to grab something use the air compressor to navigate if we cut I don't know I'm gonna leave it here because I want to I don't want the story to progress and I feel like once I do that part of the story then we're gonna move on to the next stage of this story which I do want to get past this point of the story just because it's getting a little monotonous I mean sure we moved locations in the ship but we're still on the ship and it's still creeping me out I really 
it's just creepy. I, I can't think of the syndrome that you would have after being held in a house or something for so long and only being taught this, the one thing, being babied all that time. It's not Stockholm. You know, that's when you start having affection for and start to sympathize with a pers uh, your captor. I don't, I don't know. Um, if you know, post it below. Um, I'm gonna end it here. All right. So I hope you're all enjoying the series. Um, until next time. See you, shinies, later. Bye.